Hey yogis, Kishi Wyatt here from Radiance Yoga. We are getting ready to go on a little journey around the circumference of the hip. This is a fantastic hip opening sequence. It's short, it's effective, guaranteed to um, release a lot of the resistance and tension that you may be holding in your hips. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. So let's get started. We are going to be coming to lie on our backs. You're going to want to have your strap. Perhaps you'd also like to have a blanket or a pillow underneath your head. Inhale, take a full body stretch. Exhale, pull your right knee to chest. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, full body. Exhale, right. Inhale, exhale left, full body stretch, pull the right knee into chest, grab your strap, and strap your right foot at the, right in the middle of the arch, stretch your right leg as straight as it'll go for Supta Padangustasana, our hamstring stretch, softening shoulders down. If you walk your arms straight up either side of the strap, that's going to allow the shoulder heads to fall into the earth better. If this is overly intense, you can always bend the left leg, bringing the left foot to the floor. You also can have a soft bend behind the right knee. And I'm going to recommend for this time together that you keep eyes closed or maybe just your gaze nice and soft. And allow your body to start releasing its habitual holding patterns. Notice where you're gripping. Notice where you brace yourself. And start to let breath come in and untie those knots. Reacting to nothing, resisting nothing, relaxing into the present moment, returning to your breath again and again. Take both straps into your right hand, release the left hand to the left hip, press the left hip down into earth. Open the right leg to the right. You do not want to allow the left hip to pop up. The right elbow might come all the way down to the floor. If so, it can be like a kickstand. So now you're getting the inner thighs, your adductors. Can you imagine a long line of length from the inner right thigh out through the inner right heel, flexing right toes towards the right kneecap, you might experience some shaking, just know that's normal. And then see how soft the breath can be here. How much can you surrender into the shape? At the next inhale, we'll bring you up. Take the straps now into your left hand. Your right arm relaxes to the right. Gazing at your right big toe, you bring the right big toe over the midline of your body to about the left shoulder. You're going to feel that this gets the outer line of the leg. It's into the IT band, the outer um, knee, maybe even into your ankle and calf muscles. If you want more, your right pinky toe pulls in towards outer right kneecap. Also, if you want even more, you'll, grab, you'll take your um, thumb and wedge it into your right hip crease. Your four fingers will come around the outer thigh and externally rotate the thigh bone away from you. You're flexing the toes, pushing the outer thigh away from the right shoulder. Right glute is tracking towards the floor. So this is a great place to cultivate non-resistance. Great place to cultivate the ability to respond mindfully as opposed to reacting. 
Relax into the present moment. Return to breath again and again. Inhale your leg up. Bend your knee, put the strap to the side. Hug your right knee to chest. Inhale, take a full body stretch. Hands come down, take the feet to the floor. We're gonna keep moving into the right side. Your right ankle comes to the left thigh, so now you have this external rotation with a bent knee. Option to stay right here or to move into eye of the needle, interlacing fingers behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin. Soften shoulders down, flex both feet. And so you can stay right here, hugging your legs in like a little package. Or if you want more sensation, the legs fall about three inches over to the left. Press the right knee away from you. Left knee in towards left shoulder. Identify where you feel the most sensation and can your breath and awareness flow through that space like a river. A river that unlocks blockages. A river that encourages your body to open up and to encourage a natural flow of your life force, your prana. Inhale the leg back up, or the legs back up. Release your hands, your left foot comes to the floor, unwind the right leg, take a full body stretch. Hands will come down by your side. Let the legs stay long for a moment. Notice what you feel. And we'll take those stretches onto the other side. Left knee to chest, grab your strap, strap your left foot right in the middle of the arch as you stretch the left leg straight. And again, if this is overly intense, you bend the right leg, right foot to the floor. You give a soft bend to the back of the left knee. Walking arms straight so the shoulder heads can fall into earth. If you feel congested through shoulders and neck, that means you definitely want to slide a blanket underneath your head. And then close your eyes. Identify what you're feeling in your left leg. And wholeheartedly dive into it with breath. Breath and awareness culminating in the space where you feel the most physical tension. Resist nothing. Let the breath be soft. Let the breath be nourishing, comforting. Supporting you. Take those straps now into the left hand. Relax the right arm to the side. Open the left leg out to the left. Oh, actually, you want to take your right hand and put it on your right hip. To press that hip down to keep it from falling down into the earth. So because of my position, my left leg is now extending into a wall. That actually can be a lovely thing. So I recommend if you want to try this against the wall sometime, you can get some really nice opening. And it does help you keep the opposite hip anchored down. Otherwise, I'm actually going to switch away a little bit. Your left elbow might come down to the earth like a kickstand. Lengthening from inner left thigh all the way out through inner left heel. Shoulders relaxing, neck long. Big stretch to the inner left leg. Allowing the waves of sensation to come and go. Encouraging your mind to relax. And sending the deep breathing so that your nervous system knows that you are safe and that everything is okay. Inhale your leg up. Take both straps down into the left hand, excuse me, the right hand, your left hand will come to the side. Looking up at your left big toe, it moves over the midline of your body. 
If you want more, you flex the toes. You stretch the leg as straight as you can get it. Left glutes fall towards the earth. And then if you wish, left thumb will wedge into the left hip crease as the fingers spread around the outer left thigh and you roll the left thigh bone away from you. Noticing how your body may brace itself, how your, your nervous system might brace itself. Can you just let all of that wash away and trust that in this moment you are safe. It's okay to open. It's okay to let these habitual patterns of tightening, of constricting, just to let them go. Relax into the present moment. Inhale your leg up, bend your knee, strap to the side. Full body stretch. Hands come down, both feet to the floor, left ankle to right thigh. You can press the left thigh bone away from you a bit. Staying right here can be perfect. Otherwise, you hug the right knee into your chest, interlacing fingers behind the right thigh or in front of the right shin. Flex both feet, soften shoulders, pulling the package of your legs into your chest. You can stay here or for even more length through the outer left hip, you drop your hip, your legs a few inches over to the right. Left knee away from you, right knee in. Let awareness swim with the breath fluidly. Guiding awareness and breath through your body in such a way that it just travels through, dissolving and unwinding all tension. So these hip openings that we're doing are not only beneficial, obviously, for your hips, but you'll also feel if you do these on a regular basis, you'll feel a huge release in your spine and your knees. And for some of us, we even find that by opening the hips, our shoulders and our necks become more free. And bringing the legs back up through center. Release your hands, bring the right foot to the floor, unwind your legs. Full body stretch. Feel. And then the hands come down. We have two more directions that we need to move the hips in to be balanced. Internal rotation. You'll bend your legs, feet to the floor. Walk the feet as wide as your mat. Let's bring the arms out into goal post arms. Drop both knees over to the right. And this is actually going to be about internal rotation in the left side. Flex both feet and then peek down at your left thigh bone. Ideally, it's going to be parallel to the sides of your mat. So you might need to walk your left foot over to the left a bit to make that happen. So this might be plenty of sensation. If you want more, your right heel will lift and you place it on the left thigh bone. If that is too much, please back off and return to where we started. And now let's watch the breath travel from the left shoulder down to the left knee. That'll be an exhale. On the inhale, pull the breath back up from left knee to the left shoulder. So breath like a river, exhaling, flowing down the left side. Inhaling, flowing up the left side. One more exhale. Slide your left foot away if you lifted it. Let the knees rise and rock from side to side. And then they'll drop over to the left side. Peek down at the right thigh bone. You want it parallel to the sides of your mat. Ideally a right ankle, a right angle between the thigh bone and the shin bone. Staying right here, 
internal rotation on your right side, or if you wish for more traction, you'll lift the left heel and slide it onto the right thigh bone. Let your body melt into this shape. Resist nothing. React to nothing. Return to your breath again and again. Breath fluidly gliding up and down the right side of your body. One more inhale. On the exhale, slide the left foot away. Knees come up. Again, windshield wiper the knees from side to side. And then the final place we need to visit to make this a very balanced hip opening sequence is hip flexion. I'm going to recommend that you take this on your side and I'm going to mirror you. So we'll be doing the right side, you'll be lying on the left side first and we'll be stretching the right hip. So coming to lie down on your left side. However you feel balanced, both knees can be bent or both legs can be straight. Okay, and then you're going to bend the right leg, reach around with your right hand, grabbing the right foot, pulling the right heel in towards the outer right glute. And so notice how the right thigh bone most likely will want to kind of lift up towards the ceiling, hug it in, hover it in towards the left thigh, tuck the tailbone under, and here we hold for five, four, three, Two, one. Release the right leg gently. And then you can just roll right on over to the other side. I'm going to flip my body over. Coming to lie on the right side. Getting the hip flexion on the left side. Bending the left leg. Reach around with the left hand. Pulling the heel in towards the outer left hip. Left thigh bone hugging into right thigh bone. Tuck your tailbone under. Roll the left shoulder back. And close your eyes. Resist nothing. Return to your breath. Relax into the present moment. So I keep giving you these little places to rest your mind and your breath and your overall awareness so that this time also becomes more than just a stretch or a physical practice. It becomes an embodied meditation. Hopefully it'll leave you feeling refreshed, relaxed, resilient, and calm. Release the left leg gently. And come to lie on your back. Let your body be flat on the floor. Soften shoulders. Thank you so much for sharing this hip opening sequence with me. Namaste.